we're uh, here with uh, Andy Hyron. Spot on. <laughs> Head of the uh, Renault ZB program. And this car is the Renault Fluence, which will be going ZD. on sale. ZE. ZE. Which will be going on sale in uh, early 2012. Early 2012, March 2012. So we'll just catch the end of the first year of the plugged in car grant. Right. So that's our objective in terms of launch timing. Okay, let's have a look around the car now, um, beginning with the boot. Okay. Which um, looks a bit small. Man. Well, well the, first, the first point to make is it does indeed look a bit small. Production. This is a pre-production version. It's actually a, a converted uh, diesel version. So when the vehicle comes to market in the UK and any of the other markets, it'll be about 20 centimetres longer. So in effect, we will double we will double the boot space. Also, the packaging of the battery, which is retrofit at the moment, will be different. So it'll it'll look a lot more integrated within the vehicle. The battery is a lithium-ion battery, 22 kilowatts, 48 cells, and they're sort of they're mounted vertically. So it's it's three stacks of of 16 and they're positioned, as you can see, just behind the rear seat, basically over the rear axle. So, uh, certainly not the most capacious boot, but a lot more than you see there in the final production And version. obviously the seats won't fold. The seats don't it. fold, no. It's, it's, a, it's a fixed uh, rear seat. Let's uh, okay. walk around and have a look uh, at the kind of um, capacity uh, so that, that said, nobody's been fiddling around with the, uh, the position of the front seats. Rear leg room is, uh, is, is pretty good. At the risk of, at the risk of uh, sort of showing myself up here, I am something like six foot two, six foot three. Mm -hmm. Headroom's quite reasonable. I've got two or three inches above me there. Yeah. Plenty of space in the front and certainly comfortable in the back. Compared to Golf Focus, competitive in terms of space? Uh, more than competitive in terms of space. As you can see, the rear leg room, and if you match it with the, it's not as if we've pushed the front seat so far, sure. far forward on, on, on the runners. The actual front footwell, plenty of space there. Mm -hmm. And if we can talk a moment about uh, performance, uh, zero to 60? Zero to 60 is just over 13 seconds. Right. If you compare that with the equivalent petrol version, it's 13 and a half, it's a little bit quicker. Mm -hmm. Where you really notice the difference is on the 0 to 30, and you're looking relatively there at uh, six seconds for the petrol, four seconds for the ZE. So you're looking about a 30% improvement, 30% uh, less uh, time. And top speed? Top speed is capped at 82 miles an hour. Um, obviously with an electric motor, you've got a a characteristic where it could go beyond that but, but your efficiency your efficiency dips effectively that torque curve does start to, to, to fall away tell me a bit about range first figure to give you is is, is 100 miles that's calculated on the the NEDC new European drive cycle that's exactly comparable with the combined cycle figure for for petrol or diesel vehicles realistically I'd rather quote a range in terms of a, a spectrum trying to avoid using the word range twice uh, a spectrum which you'd probably say is something like 75 to 80 miles and at 80 miles up to say 105 so it, it's like driving any other vehicle and we, we know this you've got stated fuel consumption figures and then the reality what's actually achieved depends very greatly on on, on the way the vehicle is driven the conditions it's driven in what it will have and, and these vehicles because they're pre-production don't, don't have the technology on it, there will be an awful lot of information coming from, from the onboard systems. The driver will be almost bombarded with information in terms of the impact that his drive style has. He'll be given information that allow him to drive more economically. We'd all like to do that, but we're getting that in real, in, in real time. Sure. And it will, it does have a sort of a, a mode which, which allows you to, to, to get home, if you like, which, which absolutely uh, optimizes the range and minimizes the, the power consumption. Okay.